Weldments are a key feature of many designs, and SOLIDWORKS has long been an innovator in providing tools to create weldments. With that being said, one of the most exciting new features of SOLIDWORKS 2019 is the new Structure System tool. It's a brand new way to create weldments. So let's take a look at how it's used to create this large support structure for the telescope. Now this thing is huge, but with the new Structure System feature in 2019, creating this weldment frame is a breeze. Notice that the definition for this does not contain a single 3D sketch. That's because the new Structure System tool uses much simpler and more familiar entities like surfaces, sketches, and planes. Think of the new Structure System as an advanced weldment environment that lets you create and modify structural members of different profiles in a single feature. Primary members are defined using 2D and 3D segments, points, edges, reference planes, and surfaces. Look how easy it is to use Window Select to select the edges of the surfaces, which will define 36 members without regard for member groups. Familiar weldment profiles are used to specify the weldment cross-section, and for this selection, a 10 by 10 square tube will be chosen. Just like that, 36 members have been created. In the structure system environment, members can have different profiles. In this case, the vertical members will be changed to 10 inch diameter round tubing. The web members will be defined using sketch segments and they'll be seven inch diameter round tubing. Secondary members run between primary members and are defined by selecting member pairs. In this case, the location of the new members will be defined by two support planes and the chain option will be used to select the member pairs. As selections are made, new members are added between the pairs, located at the support planes. As easy as that, another 12 members are added. At this stage, the members are defined, but they're not trimmed. When you finish adding the structural members, the corner management tool is presented so you can fine tune the corner treatments. The simple corners will be set to body trim, so they get capped to the vertical members. For the complex corners, there are more options. Initially, each member is mitered to each other. For this corner, we want the horizontal members mitered to each other and the vertical members trimmed secondarily. To simplify the manufacturing impact, the vertical members should be trimmed flat, so it should be moved down to the planar trim box. For the next corner, we can see that the vertical tube has been automatically defined as a trim tool and the horizontal members get body trimmed to it. The top corner will be defined the same as the first, where the vertical member will be planar trim to the mitered horizontal members. The same trims can be applied to the remaining corners of the structure to complete the corner management process. Finally, the seven inch diameter web members can be patterned to complete the design. The new structure system feature provides an advanced weldment environment that lets you create and modify structural members of different profiles in a single feature with flexible corner management and trimming. This workflow makes it easier to create complex structure systems without the need to create intricate 3D sketches.